Today on another episode of TikTok Made Me Buy It, today I'm installing this bullet point mounting solutions phone and iPad mount. It's pretty rugged in its design. It is made out of metal, not plastic. And I think once I install it, it should work really, really well. Of course, it comes with everything you need to install. Now, what we're going to start doing is removing the trim that's around the radio. And we're simply going to just use this uh, plastic wedge tool to be able to pry it off. It's very, very simple. It just basically has clips holding it off. So let's go ahead and begin. Sometimes I wish I worked this fast in real life. As you can see, it's pretty simple to remove. So let's take this inside the garage. Since we have the plastic trim off, I'm gonna go ahead and tape up areas where I don't want it to get scratched. Of course, I also lay down some paper so that I can work with the part and not end up scratching it. Now, of course, we are taping it up before we drill any holes. This will leave with a much cleaner result. And I'm also going to make sure that the mount is symmetrical to where the radio actually gets installed. And then once I'm able to figure out where uh, the mount is going to be, well, then I'm just going to simply just mark it with a pen and then start the drilling process. Once the holes were drilled and the tape was removed, you could see how clean the holes actually came out and it looks like it was done professionally. The next step in the process is to install the phone mount. This is pretty self-explanatory, but basically you just want the short side towards the front and then drive the screws in and hold it from the back side with the supplied fasteners. This is what it looks like all installed. You can see how symmetrical it is and well, let's go ahead and install it. Installing the radio trim is actually easier than the removal. Pretty much just line it up and press it on. The time it took me to install this was probably about 20 minutes. But the next process is we're going to go ahead and grab all the accessories that this kit comes with. And of course, I did order a couple extra ones as well later on. But we're going to go ahead and install those. These are pretty much pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is unscrew it and then uh, install to each of the ball mounts. And uh, just twist to tighten. I got the cell phone mount, the GoPro mount, and also an iPad mount. Uh, not shown just yet. But uh, I did get the delivery later on today. So I'll show the install of that as well. Of course, the install was pretty easy and self-explanatory. So you just tighten up the mounts onto the balls and then just adjust the way you want it. But you can see that the iPad gets held uh, pretty firmly, I would say. It does move just a tad bit. Um, and it's probably not something that I would drive with. But if it was something where I'm going camping or something like that, and we're going to be sleeping in the truck, well, then I could just have the uh, iPad mounted onto the dash and maybe watch a movie or something like that. Or, yeah, I can use it for like an onboard diagnostic where I can get a dongle and also um, read codes off of the iPad. Overall, I would say I'm pretty satisfied with the bullet point mounting solutions. I think it's a good product. I would probably buy it again. Of course, bulletpointmountingsolutions.com. And uh, I would also say that the cell phone mount is probably one of my favorite along with the iPad holder. I don't know if I'm going to be using the GoPro holder too much, but uh, if I do end up recording while I'm driving, well, that's also a nice feature to have as well. And everything is pretty super high quality. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this for anyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.